Hello Unacademians, this is me Vignesh NP and I'm here to present the ninth lesson on biology class 11th and it will be on biomolecules. So this is me, uh, my name is Vignesh NP and teaching is my passion and you can follow me at Unacademy by hitting the link below. So introducing to biomolecules, the first question that comes to our mind are uh, are all living organisms made up of same chemicals? So answer to this is although there is a great diversity of living organisms their chemical composition appears to be remarkably similar. A closer examination reveals that the re relative abundance of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen is higher in living systems than in inanimate objects. The most abundant chemical in living organism is obviously water. Amino acids, monosaccharide and disaccharide sugars, fatty acids, glycerol and nitrogen bases are some of the organic compounds seen in living organisms. There are 21 types of amino acid and it's given in this figure. Now we will talk about bio macro molecules. There are three types found in living system which are proteins, nucleic acids and polysaccharide. Bio macro molecules are basically polymers. That is they have high molecular mass. First of all we will talk about proteins. Proteins are heteropolymers made up of amino acids. That is amino acids are the monomers of proteins. Many of them are enzymes, antibodies, receptors, hormones and much more. Enzymes are proteins which catalyze biochemical reactions. They are also known as biocatalysts. They get denatured at high temperature that is the, their properties get distorted at high temperature. They lower activation energy of reactions and increase rate of reactions. That's how they work. They lower the activation energy of reactions and increase the rate of reaction. This is the mechanism of enzyme action. Polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are components of cell walls in plants, fungi and also of the exoskeletons of arthropods. You learned in the animal kingdom that Arthropods exoskeleton are also made of polysaccharides. They are storage form of energy that is starch and glycogen and this is a typical unit of polysaccharide. Nucleic acid. Nucleic acids serve as genetic material that is they are RNA and DNA which is ribonucleic acid and deoxyribonucleic acid. They carry hereditary information and are passed from parental generation to progeny. That is, they carry information from one generation to another. And these are the basic differences between RNA and DNA. You can learn from this figure. So the homework in this or the self-study in this chapter is to learn about different types of amino acids. There are 21 types and they are divided into essential and non-essential. So learn about them. Read in detail about nucleic acids, how they work and how genetic information is passed from one generation to another as it is very important. Learn more about the structure of proteins, secondary, tertiary and primary structure of proteins. So please rate, review and recommend my courses on Unacademy so that we can carry on this education revolution. Thank you. Thank you all.